Here's my two little camping buddies. Hi, camping buddies. Oh, be nice. You just be nice. Yeah, be nice. I know you want to come and sit by the fire, but you can't. No, you can't sit by the fire. You can play with your water bottle, though. You already took the cap off, didn't you? <laughs> you guys are so funny. Do you like camping? Huh? Do you like it? Do you like it plenty good? Yes, you do. <laughs> I made this fire tonight with three really big chunks of wood that someone had left behind. Hardwood. You can see them parallel there and the flames in between each one. And then on top I have cross pieces that were mostly pine. I like to start my fires with pine on the top because it burns so well, but not great for cooking. So pine to start and hardwood to cook. When it gets down to the hardwood, that's when I like to do my cooking. Of course, this hardwood, <laughs> these pieces are so big, you can see if I put the grill up, it would be well, you couldn't even put the grill up all the way. It would be being held up by the big chunks of wood. Probably should have put the one on the right on the left and vice versa. But I wasn't really thinking about cooking on the grate anyway. I've got baskets that I can put my hot dogs in. That way I know it's clean. And if the logs are short, then I can prop them up and I don't even have to hold the basket. But tonight will be a hold the basket night. Doesn't that look cool? With the flames in between like that? I love to watch that. Nice and hot. Reminds me of my pottery days, looking into that red hot kiln, white hot really, lovely, lovely fire. I started it before dark tonight. Because I know once it gets dark, I'm not going to feel like digging around or looking for sticks. But this will last until dark, after dark, with those big pieces of wood. The sounds of night falling. And my two camping buddies are very interested in what's going on over by the fire, aren't you? Am I cooking hot? Oh, oh, oh. Am I cooking hot dogs? Not you. Not you, dogs. Wiener dogs. Wiener hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, you got a nice clean surface to play on there. Get off of her.
Is that enough? Well, I moved the pine pieces off to the left. So I'm pretty much left with the hardwood to cook my hot dogs on. And I just can't wait. Hello, bird. You have a nice song, whoever you are. You know what? It's really hard to hold this thing. Maybe I'll flip the grate over. Cook hot dogs. Not too fast, though. I know you're going to cook too fast. Going to have to keep flipping you over. Oh, yeah. That's what I get for being impatient. Hot dogs aren't burnt. That was just soot on them, on the two, on the end. I'm going to have to get a glove to pick this thing up pretty soon. Should have brought that out. Didn't. Well, I already ate one hot dog. I was too hungry. Whoopsie. There's some mustard. Yum yum. Hot dog number two. I'm going in. Well, it's 8 o'clock and I've put the dogs to bed. I don't want them to have too many mosquito encounters. I don't want them to have any mosquito encounters. And I didn't want to leave these last two hot dogs in there with the dogs because they might disappear. And since these were the two hot dogs that were furthest from the heat earlier, I thought I'd touch them up and then they'll be nice and wood smoke flavored for lunch tomorrow or some kind of meal tomorrow. These flames are still more than I would ordinarily use to cook with. I usually would do coals. Hello, bug. Hello. Ah. Yeah, I don't want you on me. Goodbye, bug. I better flip these. Flip these over. I guess that one should be a little bit, a little bit more in the heat. I love the smell and the taste of food cooked over an open fire. It's so yummy. I don't have a lot of food with me this time. I have some chicken that I cooked at home. Made a really good burrito for lunch today. Cut up that chicken. Had some black beans, a little cheese, and some chipotle flavored hot sauce. Wow, that was a good lunch. That was really, really good. Never did that before. I'm definitely going to have to do it again. It was good stuff. Oh, are you splitting? No, that's not a split. That's part of the wire basket. I must say, these Hebrew National hot dogs are really good. They're made with no fillers. It's all actual high quality beef. Kosher. 
but there's not a lot of fat in them so you want to be careful that you don't overcook them because they will get dry if you cook them as long as you would a hot dog that has a ton of fat and byproducts in it. So if you want a hot dog that isn't full of junk, Hebrew National. Okay, I think I better take them off the heat. Good night.